I would look at the patient and say, okay, what stage of AFib do I think this person is in? How many walls do I think have these AFib sources or triggers? Well, they're obviously in an earlier stage. They're not in it 50, 60, 70% of the time. They're in it 5, 10, 15% of the time. They would be in that early stage paroxysmal, but even more so because that's just a gradation of a continuum of AFib. I mean, you say early, mid, late, but it's actually a continuum of disease. So you say, okay, well, I think this person has maybe one wall's worth of AFib and they're in it 10, 15% of the time because I believe that as a, a model of AFib that serves me better is to think about AFib as being how many walls worth of AFib do I think this person has? How many sources of AFib trigger? If they have it on one wall, then I think they're going in and out of it five to 15%. If they have it on two walls out of the six, then they're in it 20, 30%. If they have it on three walls, they're in it 50, 60%. If they have it on four walls, they're in it 70, 80%. If they have it on five walls, they're in it 80, 90%. And if they have it on all six walls, that's when they're in AFib 100% and permanent. So I like to think about it that way instead of this arbitrary early, middle, late, which I think is not precise enough.